Hey everyone, Mr. Weta here, and today what we're going to be doing is going over how to make a molecule now that we know how to find bond number. But first, as a quick review, since it's been a little while since we've had to do this, bond number is the number of unpaired valence electrons an atom has, and to find those unpaired valence electrons, first you need to know how many valence electrons it has, and that's going to equal its group number while it has A at the end of it. So uh, first example we've got here is carbon. Carbon is in group 4A, which is right here. So there's carbon. It's in group 4A. So 4A means it has four valence electrons. P e minus is electron because they're minus. So to show that, uh, you're going to take the four electrons and spread them out here, top, right, bottom, left, and it's got four valence electrons that are unpaired, so it makes four bonds. Next example here is hydrogen. Hydrogen is in group one. It's the first element, so it is in 1A has one valence electron. I'm going to abbreviate that VE. Same as the first thing here. And it makes one bond. Okay, well, now we've got a couple of different atoms, so let's try and put them together. So hydrogen's one valence electron can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter which spot you put it in. Normally you would put it on the right or the top. It doesn't really matter. For now, I'm going to put it here. And the reason is because a bond in chemistry, there's two types of bonds we care about. We talk about ionic and covalent. The ones we're using now are covalent. Covalent bonds are formed when you have two electrons that are shared by two atoms. And the way that it works practically is you just take two electrons that are unpaired from two different elements and just you combine them. So in this case, you've got hydrogen and carbon. I'm going to take a line and connect them that carbon and hydrogen are now bonded together. The question is, how many hydrogens could I combine with that carbon? Well, I think that's pretty easy. You've got four dots total here for carbon. It makes four bonds. And since hydrogen only makes one bond, this one right here, I can attach a hydrogen to each of these. And I just made something that has four, uh, one carbon and four hydrogens. So if I have one carbon and four hydrogens, I would write that as CH4. That's because there are one, two, three, four hydrogens attached to one carbon. Notice how I didn't put a one after that carbon there. It just says C. You don't have to write the one there. For any other number, you would have to put it. Okay, the second example is for nitrogen and chlorine. And nitrogen is over here. Element number seven is in group 5A. So nitrogen is 5A. I'm going to slide this down a little farther, and I bet you can guess why, because we're going to add the chlorines. Um, so 5A, that means five valence electrons. And let's draw those. One, two three, four, five. Okay, well, how many unpaired ones do I have? I have three unpaired ones. So these three unpaired electrons will make three bonds, one bond for each free electron. Okay, well, now let's take a look at chlorine, and we're going to see how we combine these. Chlorine I'm going to do in a different color. So chlorine is right here. It's in group 7a. So 7a, that's seven valence electrons. So let's draw those electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, how many of them are not paired up? One. There's one unpaired electron, so that means chlorine is going to make one bond. 
Okay, I can take these electrons now and I can pair them up, these free ones that chlorine has. So if I take this dot here and I attach it here, I have made one bond. The question is, how many chlorines can I then attach to nitrogen? Well, if I do the exact same thing, I can attach one here, and I can attach one here. And notice each chlorine has its own seven electrons that are all green, and nitrogen has its five electrons that are black. You put those all together, and you now have one nitrogen. You're always going to start with the one that's in the middle. So you're going to have nitrogen in the middle, and then you have three chlorines, Cl3. Number goes after the element it's modifying. Okay, so those are some simple examples. What I am going to ask you to do then is to draw these compounds for me. I want you to draw BH3, B is boron. I'm going to also ask you to draw C, Cl4, C is carbon, Cl is chlorine. And then I'm going to ask you to draw uh, a really easy one, but it's important. H2O. So the three I need you to draw then, H2O, BH3, CCl4. Do the exact same process that I just did for these examples. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know on either Google Classroom or through email.